Hello, and welcome to Scarlet Serpent Readings. Thank you so much for joining me for this collective reading, where we are going to be looking at how you can open your heart center, how you could step more fully into love. And um, speaking of love, I love all of you who are still supporting my channel. And uh, if you're just visiting, please consider liking and subscribing. Um, and I also want to mention, I'm not only doing these videos. Um, I'm still going to be doing the pick a card readings where I face the camera. It's just, uh, I was originally, well, I was waiting on a device that would help me edit the videos a lot quicker. Um, it's taken a while. And I've also been very busy. So, um, but I'll be uploading definitely this week, uh, another regular pick a card reading. So, uh, just as a thank you. Okay. So let's see, how can you more fully step into the energy of love How can you? <laughs> okay. okay i was just gonna say it and then i didn't and now i'm gonna say it again um this gesture reminds me of I don't know how many of you are familiar with EDC, but I went for the first time last week or whatever. Um, and I think this reading is partly inspired by it, of just um, being really happy <laughs> um, in a really positive environment. And it's been almost my homework to bring that to as many moments of the day as I can. And uh, this has just remind me of a handshake or like an exchange of like, we would get bracelets and I was gonna put them, but I forgot. We got bracelets, we exchange the bracelets that we make, and it's just a fun little thing. It's almost as if the exchange would be focusing on prioritizing your happiness, and that exchange would be you receiving recognition for how bright you are. And I think this has to do, especially with these two, um, kind of being a little closed off to showing your fullest version of yourself especially as a leo like this would be leo but this is um what is it gemini but regardless it's very very different energies right because you could see here i don't know if you could see it that the the wands are in the background it's like you step out of your own your own cage that feels comfortable but there's also seclusion and i think for many of you, you enjoy the company of others, but it's almost been more comfortable to be alone just because it's safe. But at the same time, there's been this longing to really shine and um, like, yeah, like shake hands physically with other people, you know? Um, well, not necessarily shake hands, but as opposed to doing Zoom and Skype and texting and digital communication, it's more of a physical presence that you're longing for and might help you open your heart center up a little bit. We have justice, balance, and fairness. I think this justice, and I guess I was building up to it in a way, is um, it's like the more of yourself that you let out, the more authentic people you'll be receiving in return. Um, yeah, that, that's the main thing. Let's just get one more card before we clarify. But I think this is like a super... Like it's it, it's it almost feels like a bold reading of the two of pentacles juggling to look like this is the exact same thing. Maybe it's just what's on my mind to be honest, but um hold on, let me show you. So the exchange was like this, and then the other person would have this, and they'd like kinda do this and take one of these out and then the other one and then you'd switch. Um that's pretty much what happened. And that just reminds me of the whole, <laughs> it's an exchange. Usually this would have to do a lot with balance, potentially traveling. I do see a boat here. Um, there's a boat there. And I don't know if you see it, but there's a boat here. So that could be an indication of traveling and really putting yourself in an environment where you do feel more comfortable. But I think there's also gotta be like a sort of middle ground where you're willing to to put yourself out there even if the people around you wouldn't accept you like that's um that's just the starting point because um look four of swords at the bottom of the deck 
Like, I think you're a little more comfortable in isolation and in, and it's not bad, but I think because this reading has to do with opening your heart center, the heart center has to do with um, not just shining bright, but feeling a connectedness really to yourself, first of all, but I think you've done that. So now this is feeling a connectedness to other people and um, really not only finding others like you who are in the same vibration and uh, level of understanding that you have, but also, um, but also, it's not finding them, it's allowing them to come to you. And <laughs> I don't know, it's interesting how that's, that's been shifting in my own life as well. Um, just the, the quality of the people that you interact with, I think, will drastically go up. You have the Ten of Pentacles. Look, friendships. I mean, there are, some of these cards have, like, well, no, um, multiple hands, but, but this whole deck is about hands. But this one in particular, it just, I feel a strong sense of community and wanting to be with people. This Ten of Pentacles feels a little different than, I guess, regular Ten of Pentacles. I mean, it kind of is, but um, this is more casual. This is more, it's less of building a home and then a building an estate and um, finalizing a project and more of just having enough to share with others and that's sufficient. And um, you might enjoy the company of a dog. I think that'll, that's generally helpful, you know, in terms of opening your heart center. But um, a lot of you, I, I just feel as though many of you have done a lot of your self work, like the shadow work and things like that. And I think you're at a point now where you have amassed enough wisdom from that experience that you can be confident in sharing that with others. Not only sharing that wisdom with others, but just sharing yourself with others. It's like a refined version of you that I think people will appreciate. If not in your immediate environment, which might be why you're kind of um, been in this energy of like, it's like, like, I don't want anyone to see me. Um, and it's shifting uh, as you've gained confidence that even though there's those people who are judging and all this, your your ability to shine through it will bring forth more people who are like you, who are potentially in the shadows, um, um, just about their practices or about who they really are and. Um, you'll find that these people were kind of lurking between, you know, the cracks or something like that. I'll just clarify these. Three of Wands. Six of Wands. There's, yeah, there's this subtle, subtle hint of traveling, of that there's a des desire to travel and um, even just to get away. But I think the way that this becomes easier to, to, to do, it's like the doors will open up more fully when you are um, really embracing all of what you are and not just embracing it, but showing it, like really going out there, really going out there. But um, look, there's, what what's happening right now? There's, a, it's kind of small. It's in this painting here. But there are sailboats. There are sailboats up here. So there's a very strong desire to travel. Um, but I think before that happens, there could be still people around you that are more like you than you realize. But as you open up, they'll feel more comfortable opening up and being who they are. And then. Um, that'll move forward. Let's just take these two. Death and High Priestess. We have two twos underneath each other. And, and part of this has to do with knowing what to let go of. Especially with the Justice card, with the sword there. It's like deliberately cutting people off. Absolutely. Something that'll make you happy. <laughs> if someone can't... Uh, is, is not just not accepting, but making fun of who you are constantly... That, that's all that is, like, energetically moving away from them, even if you can't physically do so. It's like, well, um, I'm just going to 
as much as I can be in a place where I am appreciated and valued and um, I think the, the biggest thing would be becoming aware of how many people aren't just like you necessarily but can value your presence and I think that's something you've been wanting okay let's just grab one more oracle deck or an uh, oracle card this is interesting the masks there's a uh, this is a shape-shifting energy a lot of times it could be seen as something negative some of these masks look a bit you know evil or bad or whatever but I would say that this is a very strong ability that you have to really connect with all types of people that and you might underestimate it some of you might step into it very fully and that's incredibly powerful um, but some of you might not fully be aware of how easy it is. It's not being fake. Um, at least not what I'm getting here. It's not being fake. It's being able to adapt to different people and understand different people. And through that, they accept you. They bring you in. So you could, you could be a part of many different types of groups that are wildly almost contrasting each other. But... That's something you could do, and I think that's something that'll open your heart more. Is getting like shows you it shows you all the colors here. You're getting an idea of just the vibrancy and the the variety that there is in humanity, specifically human beings, like connecting with people and and different opinions and how everyone is still wearing a mask that, you know, at the end, we're, we're all spirit regardless. So the ability to see through that and connect is something that'll open your heart, really. Um, so hopefully this reading was helpful. Then, you know, check out my pick a card reading. Hopefully I'll have one soon, as I said this week, but I appreciate your support and your time. Take care.